Christina from ChristinaReisinger.com and I am the author of Life After Losing a Loved One, How to Turn Grief into Hope, Strength, and Purpose. And this is my husband Caleb. Today we wanted to talk to you a little bit about our own grief journey in the hopes that we could help you on your road with your grief journey. So, so um, I'm here just to kind of uh, lend support, of course, to Christina, but also say how important this is. Um, it was important for her to write the book um, for, on a personal level. It helped her uh, through the grief that she was experiencing. And of course, uh, our whole family, and me included, were experiencing grief as well, but everybody handles grief differently. Mm -hmm. um, but the book has something for everybody, and uh, it was good for me to read through it and see, you know, just re remember some of the things that we had talked about and some of the times that we had had in our grief journey and our experience with Isabella, our daughter that we lost. Um, the, the big thing for me is uh, to see her grow and, and prosper and, and kind of get better as time went by. Of course, we're never gonna, you know, maybe totally you know, lose, lose our grief. And, um, but, you know, through this, maybe we can learn to, to live with it better is what I would say. And, uh, the book's not for everybody that has lost a child necessarily. It's not targeted to them, but it's uh, rather a book for everybody who's experienced loss because, um, you know, not everybody, of course, has lost a child, you know, and, and most people would say, no, you're not supposed to outlive your children, and God forbid that's ever mm -hmm. happened to any, any other folks, but we know it does. Um, but certainly, everybody will eventually lose somebody, whether it's your parents or grandparents or, or friends or... or you know, extended family and what have you, but you're going to know somebody who's lost somebody or you yourself is going to lose somebody eventually. So the book is targeted towards anybody who's experienced loss and grief and is to, you know, help them along the way and build rapport and help them work through their grief journey just as our family has worked through our grief journey. Right. And um, so we, we want to be there for you in your grief journey and help you through it and let you know that you don't have to be stuck. You don't have to feel lost. There is a way to find the hope and uh, strength and really renew um, everything that you thought that you couldn't renew, your hope especially, and find your own purpose. You don't have to attach that to your loved one. And your loved one would not want you to stay in a place um, where you are not moving forward. So it is our hope that through this book, uh, you can too learn to find and renew your hope and find your purpose. Um, it has helped me. I started a little bit um, right after actually Isabella passed away. Um, I started a blog called JustBreatheMama.com Life, Faith, Hope. And uh, the blog was just for me personally to uh, cope. And then things happened over the last uh, two and a half years and um, I wrote this book and I began my um, service to you as a grief coach to help others through this and um, kind of felt like this was my calling. And I think that we all know that we grieve differently. You know, my husband sure. and I both grieve differently. Um, and this is not something that we're trying to heal you from. It is not something that we are trying to correct um, by any kind of diagnosis or anything like that. Just offering support to you when you are mm -hmm. going through your own grief journey so that you're not feeling alone because other people have gone through it. They're not in your exact um, place. You know, we don't have the exact same experiences, but we can empathize with each other and know that we are a community of people who can learn to find that hope again in life and move through that experience to find our purpose because God has said that we all have been made with a purpose. And for me, that helps me know Isabella's purpose. Right. And, and certainly, um, you know, for those who don't know, Isabella, um, our daughter, we knew during our pregnancy that she was going to have a lot of challenges and was going to be a special needs child. And uh, so while perhaps we were, you know, um, we were hopeful for the future, but also, uh, you know, we understood the risk and, and the things that could happen going forward and that, you know, she, she was going to have challenges. But, um, 
you know, we, we were, she was getting good care and certainly we, she spent a lot of time in the NICU here and, uh, but we did eventually bring her home. We prepared a room for her. Uh, we had good nursing care to help us take care of her at home and uh, she seemed to be doing better. She had uh, a couple of different surgeries to um, correct some of the things that, you know, some of the, the needs that she was born with that required immediate attention or would require attention going forward. And we were working to uh, get her to the place where she would have additional surgeries um, later down the road as she progressed. Um, so despite all that, it was still um, very much a surprise. Uh, close to Christmas, we were at a Christmas party um, that, that we had to rush to the hospital that night as we were coming home. We kind of barely made it to the house and then had to turn around and follow the ambulance with her to the hospital. And um, certainly things changed very, very quickly and we did lose her that, that night. And uh, it, was, it was unexpected. It was, it was, you know, so it was a crushing blow uh, for us as a family after we felt like we had made so much progress. Yeah, and you never want to um, lose anyone in your life. However, when you lose a child, um, you know, and, and I'm not, you're not, I'm not comparing any kind of loss, but when you lose a child, you also lose everything um, that comes with growing up. You know, you never have those moments. Um, so you also grieve those moments. And, um, you know, the, the school and the weddings and, you know, the just whatever, the college, um, pictures, things like that. Um, you know, you, you, uh, we were lucky to have some photographs before she passed away. She was ten and a half months old, and um, we were very lucky to have some photographs. And her, um, his sister actually took her photographs that uh, Thanksgiving <coughs> before she passed away. So we will always cherish those. But um, you know, if any of you have lost someone, you know that it is not just the fact that they're gone, but it also that you are grieving the memories of what, what might have been. You're grieving, um, you know, if, if they've been sick, you're grieving any type of um, help that they could have had and enjoyment and quality of life on earth. And then when they pass, you're also grieving any time that you don't have with them. You're grieving holidays and you're, you're grieving special dates and you're grieving um, the what ifs, so to speak. And so it's really easy for your mind to just start snowballing and um, getting filled with, with thoughts that can keep you in a negative place. And I just want you to know, again, that you're not alone. And, you know, the grief has a way to creep into your mind and, and make you think strange things. Um, you should never feel ashamed of your thoughts that you have when you're grieving somebody. Um, but, you know, you also know that you can move forward. You don't have to feel guilty that your loved one would want you to move forward, that you have purpose past the loss. We are definitely here to help you with that um, if you would like to get in touch with us and um, if you would like to work on walking your journey together, we would love to do that with you. So, Right, and certainly, um... We're both here, as, we, as she mentioned, we together, um, because we, had, we definitely have a different perspective and there were uh, different questions or, or uh, different tough points or um, just uh, a different outlook. And, and I won't say that there was tension or that we, we had disagreements or arguments because we didn't, but <clears throat> it was just difficult sometimes when we were at different places in our grief or we responded mm -hmm. differently. And that's something that we understand as a dynamic, as a couple. And right. I think some of that is borne out in the book, um, not, not necessarily in great detail, but certainly something that's addressed uh, and that we can you know, talk, talk uh, more about on a, on a more personal and in-depth level if you, and, you know, if you need to. Right, yeah, and that's very important to understand that your grief journey is just that. It is your grief journey. It is nobody else's in it doesn't make any sense to compare because everybody comes from a different walk of life. Everybody has different experiences. And beyond that, everybody has different personalities. So we process things differently. Some of us take a little longer to process things. 
some of us stay in a certain stage longer than others and some of us revisit things um, differently and um, it's okay you shouldn't be rushed to move through your grief journey but you should have um, know that there is hope and know that you know you can move past that and um, it is not dishonoring your loved one you can move through that and honor your loved one at the same time so we'd love for you to grab a copy of the book, but whether you do or not, feel free to reach out to us. You can go to ChristinaRisinger.com and we will make sure to attach that information. And I'd like to just uh, add on here that, you know, this book is not just for folks that are themselves experiencing grief, but um, it's for people to get understanding. It's a good reference. So. Mm -hmm. If you're on the outside looking in to a close friend or relative who's experiencing grief and you're having a hard time talking to them or you don't really know what to do or what to say or how, what they're thinking, uh, this is a good tool and a good reference for you to go and get a better understanding perhaps of, of your friend or your family member and, uh, and gain some insight and understand that maybe it will help you help them going forward. Right, because so many times it's awkward um, when mm -hmm. you have someone who's lost someone and the funeral is over and you don't know what to say, but they really do need you. So um, don't disappear. Anyways, we hope to see you soon. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.